welcome to another Honda CB200 video. So leading on from or carrying on from where we were last time, bench full of stuff, I've been going through it etc. So um, we've got the support struts off for the headlight etc. Um, and uh, they're not in, in great shape, so quite some bad rusting going on on there. Um, and there's also um, a, a motorcycle garage that picked up the bike for some work, strapped it down stupidly and have bent uh, um, these brackets. So I don't know how well you can make out. But this one is sort of very straight. This one is bent. It's got a little bend in there. Can you make that out? Hopefully you can. Um, and they weren't, as it were, uh, in line with this um, so I've tweaked that a bit but my question is which one is correct um, should it have a step in or should it be straight well, if you know let me know A or B not quite sure what I can do about it if that's the correct one I need to somehow make this one more like that one um, but yeah that's what we've got and so these are going to get stripped down sandblasted um, and I've asked the place that we'll be going to um, about whether they might be able to, you know, cut out the rot uh, and maybe weld something in there. We'll we'll see, we'll see. Um, but I'm now on the hunt for some of these, but they are notorious for going in this area um, because of a little collar that's inside there. So it's an awful water trap, um, and so just just rots them out. I've seen plenty of these go in that area. So there's those. The bowl, headlight bowl, looks pretty good. So that's going to, again, blasted and painted. Um, this screw here, um, screw thread, is, is very loose. So I might have a look at giving that a bit of a knock uh, or even ask the place if they could maybe put a, a bead of, of weld in there um, and re-drill and tap that. But that's looking good. Um, so there's that to, to be painted. And then those with the side panels, the plastic side panels, um, which are over there, and the tank, they're ready to go and be painted. So I was just working on the stripping the headlight and getting that headlamp unit um, sorted. The ring, quite badly de-chromed, a bit of rust, etc. So... Um, you know, need to maybe look at getting that chromed, but that's probably about 30 odd quid to get that chromed. So we shall see. So I've got things like the uh, dial cups or pans, whatever you call them, these bits for the dials, um, and the mud guard. So, a previous owner cut the bottom off, which had a piece coming further down, and then some struts coming down to the towards the wheel, and they've cut that. Um, but the pop rivets are now beginning to fail, so the, the whole mud guard is loose. So I need to drill those out and then probably look at having it again re chromed um, and then put, putting these back together again with, with pop rivets. So, headlight was just looking at that, sorting that out. Um, so, I've got the lens unit, a um, bit of rust on here, so I need to give that a bit of crust. Um, but yeah. Maybe a bit of a paint job on that to tidy that up. But I've also been looking at you know getting a an entire replacement lens insert in there, but we can explore that later. But I think the dials need needs a bit of work. Um, so this is quite badly rusted back here, so I need to look at that. But the the buggeration with these older ones is it's the plastic edge so I either need to cut uh, around there so I can take off the lip and then disassemble to service and put back and then you know glue that back in place or, or whether I can heat that and peel that back um, so I can get the innards out the tacos mm, rusting at the back but I can just cross that um, it's got the little bits inside, but the dial face, is, as it were, is not too bad. The speedometer is in a bit of a worse state. We've got um, 
a bit of uh, corrosion starting on the inside the rust are begin the screws are beginning to rust in there um, but again it's the the plastic type which has been heated and bent over so again I'd need to heat that up to to bend this out to be able to take off the the inner workings um, and I've got at the moment no idea how this end screw here is attached to there there's no screw on the end and there's no screw on the side so is it just a push fit um, or, or what um, but the nice thing about this is at least it looks like it's a big enough hole in the body that I might be able to manipulate the housing out um, and yeah so so they could do the service but not quite sure how if you've got any ideas uh, do, do leave them in the in the comments below that'd be great um, brake unit uh, well we covered that in previous videos that that's fine they probably need a new brake cable um, and then the little cushions for the dials um, could do with replacing them in there it's a little bit squidgy so not too bad but I'll think of something to replace that Handlebars, you know, showing their age, but they're okay. Um, indicators, um, the chrome's not in great condition, but I'm not quite sure what this metal is. And so, you know, if it's a steel, mild steel, then we can chrome over it. If it's an alloy, then we might not be able to. So um, I'm going to strip these down so that when I take the parts to be painted, we can have a look at all these chrome parts uh, about getting them chrome. So the indicator units, mud guard. Uh, lens ring um, uh, and some other bits and bobs from the bike but um, some parts have arrived so um, I got these from pyramid parts so these are the um, steering head bearing replacements uh, so uh, not a sponsor I, I bought these etc so let's open these up have a, a quick look uh, so some grease um, sealy parts etc and then they themselves so yeah we'll um we'll have a look at getting these fitted in so yeah looking forward to them that's them and then I also um went and got in touch with this company um, Accu, again not a sponsor um, and you know you can get all sorts of screw bolts and all sorts of things so I you know for for much cheaper than you can get you know Honda parts um, I've got a load of um, um, donuts etc for replacing these uh, which are badly rusted etc so these are all stainless steel rather than chrome so we've got a load of screws, nuts, bolts, etc. All sorts of bits. Um, even the, the the countersunk, but domed countersunk, compared to the sort of the flat countersunk, um, which is, is the most common one one to get. So we've got loads of lots of bits, all in stainless steel. So we'll see if the threads are all good. So this one, for example, is for um, replacing this chewed up screw on the um, tachometer uh, gear so yeah so uh, yeah we'll go through that so there we are now that's a quick catch up on where we're at with the strip and things so these are all to be um, I need to see if I've got a new seal for here and if I have I'm going to look at a bit of a strip and a clean on that the plate for holding the dials in place, um, clean up and a paint job. Um, and yeah, then it's a case of finishing stripping or un carry on unstripping the head of the bike steering thing and doing the bearings and a little bit of paint work on that. So yeah, so I'm not quite sure how much of that we'll get in this video, but I'll uh, keep the camera rolling and see where we get to. So just put a load of nuts, bolts, bits and bobs in some vinegar to do rust. 
and what I'm going to do is just very carefully try and put some uh, anti-rust stuff on here but I don't want it going inside so I'm going to have to sort of paint it upside down as it were so let's just get a little bit of this working Right, it's a couple of days later um, and you may notice there are a few parts um, that have gone, so a quick update. So uh, mudguard um, de-riveted um, and uh, it's going to need quite a bit of work to get this all fully chromed etc. It's got some scratches um, on the front, you might be able to make them out just here. Um, so to get this properly nicely chromed is going to cost a lot and as it's a, a, a modified mudguard I don't think it's worth it so for this one I'm gonna um, clean back all of this underpainting de-rust it as best I can and then re-underpaint it um, and then reattach the bracket with new uh, snap pot head rivets whatever they're called um, these have been blasted and um, yeah right so we'll, we'll come back to that um, Headlight bulbs gone to be dealt with and painted. Side panels are gone to be painted. The tank, so that I'll give you an update on the tank in a bit. Um, headlight ring, it is as bad as we thought. Uh, looking at it, so that needs a you know a proper uh, chrome job. And uh, Ted at Ted Shed, which is a municipal restoration place uh, near Southampton. Um, I'll put a link to his website in the description. Uh, brilliant chap, uh, a lot of experience, a lot of knowledge um, and willingness to, to uh, uh, has been very helpful uh, on this. He's recommended this company called Silver Bronze in um, in in Alton, Alton um, as sort of show chromers and they'll sort of copper plate it, polish it, copper plate it, polish it etc but it'll cost you maybe 90 quid to have that done. Um, so I'm going to look in the spares box and just see if I've got a better ring but if not then we might need, I might have that done um, as well, or might have that, that done, and that might be the only bit of chroming I have done for now. Um, I have thought about just rubbing it all back and getting it uh, painted, but I think that sort of silver ring on your on your headlight bowl is quite a nice look, and it's a classic look on that. Um, the crusting that I did um, on this, but uh, hasn't gone very well. It's, 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 all, it's all quite rusty, so I'm gonna bring that back um, and a load of parts um, nuts bolts etc have all been sitting in in uh, vinegar for a few days now so I'm going to wash these out I'm going to go get the the wire wheel up and we're going to uh, give them a rub give the light a rub um, or a gentle tickle gentle tickle um, okay okay so just rinse off these um, Washers, etc. Think I may have left these in a little bit too long. Oops. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. So this, this is one of these. So, need the new ones anyway. Uh, so washers, lots of bolts. So let's clear up, get the wire brush out, and crack on.
Right, I've not been able to identify if I've actually got one of these replacement seals for here. Uh, so I'm just going to give this a gentle wash in uh, some white spirit uh, and then just gently wash it out, uh, rinse it off and then I'll uh, grease it all up again. There we are. One serviced speedometer, speedo drive gear box unit thing. Yeah. While it's all here, we might as well have a look at the switches and just check that they're all okay and clean and tidy. Screws aren't too horribly rusty. Right, it's a few days later. Um, I've had the uh, screws etc from this in uh, vinegar to, to de-rust um, and then just in some white spirit to um, get rid of the vinegar etc. So we'll get that out and dry that. Um, I know so on the handle bit though, it's a little bit uh, dirty. So I'm just going to use a bit of um, isopropyl alcohol just to, to give this a bit of a, a gentle brushing just to get rid of some of the final rubbish on it. Right, to protect this bit of the handle underneath the switch, I'm just going to give it a coat of 
Renaissance wax. back together again. Now there should be a pin that goes from in there into the hole in here. I don't seem to have that. I might look and see what I can do about that. I don't think there's very much to be honest. So it's more a case about clamping it all together properly. So Grease on there. Oh, I'm trying to make the gap a bit even. But I'm not going to fuss about its position until it's sort of on the bike, etc. So that's what we need to do for that. There's the switch all, all assembled, etc. We'll sort out the, the rotation of it when we get it back on the bike. Um, but I think it's worth just double checking the electrics. So we've cleaned, tidied, and lubricated inside the switch. Um, but I think it's always good just to double check all the all the wiring, as it were. Um, so we'll quickly do that. So orange and blue are indicators. Orange, I think, is the left indicator. And that goes to grey, I think. So, kerning left, grey, orange. Nothing. And then going the other way, nothing. That changing grey to blue for the right. We get continuity, no continuity. Going to the left, no think. And so, and then between, obviously, let's go between the orange and the blue, just to make sure no continuity, no continuity, no continuity. So the turn switch is looking good. And so we then got green, um, which my memory serves me right, will be the uh, horn, I think, which should go to earth. So put that on there and put that on there and press the horn and we get no continuity horn pressed we get continuity and press horn and just taking a couple of places just to make sure so do that way and there and there we are so press continuity and press no continuity and nothing interfering with those switches so the green is the is the horn, and then grey and the blue and the orange are for the indicators. So that wraps up doing the left hand switch. Um, so that's all serviced, greased, checked, lubricated, um, etc. And next time we'll look at the right hand switch, which has obviously got the starter button the low and high beam switch and has obviously got the kill switch for run and off. So we'll do that next time. So I think that wraps it up for this video. Um, I hope you found it informative, interesting, following along on the progress of this, this restoration. Um, a bit slow this one, but uh, we're getting there. Um, <clears throat> In the next video, we shall look at the mudguard and we'll have a little bit more of a look at those um, 
headlight supports didn't get to do much more about those in this video sorry about that so there we are that's it for this video thanks very much for watching if you made it all the way through please do uh, hit the subscribe button to follow along this restoration and other things that i get up to hit the bell notification to be updated when i release a new video and of course please give the video a thumbs up it really helps do leave your comments below i do read them all and try to reply to every single one and yeah that's all for now join us next time and uh see ya bye